Hi, my name is Ben Bois. I'm the Director of Horticultural Operations for Green City Growers. We're out here at our corporate site in a, at a Harvard Pilgrim Gateway in Wellesley. And we have these cold frames that we built and put on the beds in uh, November of 2009. And we were able to sow in plants in November. Um, and they've stayed alive through the winter and are now starting to grow again. And additionally, we were able to uh, reseed and replant um, as early as this is the beginning of March that we started. So the principle of a cold frame is that it traps the heat on a sunny day, traps the heat inside the bed, and then at night uh, that heat stays in and keeps the plants from freezing. And then in the morning when it warms up again, it opens to vent to vent it out and enable the you know enable fresh air to come in so that <clears throat> there isn't too many. Uh, issues with mold and fungus and other things that happen when there's no ventilation. Right now the, the cold frame is, is open a few inches um, and that's because the temperature in the bed is warm enough that it is heating up the wax in the cylinder which is then pushing on the arm and opening the lid. Um, so the, the process of opening and closing is completely automated um, and it's just this wax. No batteries, no electricity. It's on a sunny day, we've measured differences of temperature uh, inside the cold frame. Um, it's being 30 degrees warmer than outside. There's a period of time in between January and February when there's actually not enough light, so the plants stop actively growing, but they stay alive uh, in the beds, and they're ready to start growing as soon as uh, you know, as soon as the as soon as the light comes back, as soon as there's enough sunlight.